It's your boy Noto coming to you with another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to talk about semen retention, women, and energy, bro. And if you're new here or if you've already been here, go on and click that like button, go on and comment, go on and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video, man. And without further ado, let's go on and drop into this subject, man. Semen retention, guys. I go lie, I tried this a couple times, but this one particular time, bro, I did it for the longest I've ever done it. So it's like about four weeks. So that bro, for me, that's something else. Four weeks. <laughs> you know me. I like to get mine. Yeah, man. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I noticed a couple of things about this. So let me say with the first thing. The first thing. Energy, guys. Energy, bro. I had boo-boo energy, bro. I'm like, hold up. Like, especially like after the first week, because that was like the hardest thing I had to do was get that through that first week. After I got over that hump, I noticed like I had boo energy, like, bro, like. I feel like I could do anything. I feel like I could jump on top of the building that I stay in. I feel like I could jump floors. Because, you know, at the, I was working at the hospital at, from time to time. I'm talking about when I'm going up the, the flight of stairs, I'm not even I'm not even going through the elevator. I was going through the flights of stairs, and I'm skipping steps. I'm like, man, I had some happy-go-lucky energy up in there, man. I ain't feeling a lot to you. I was moving. The energy is like, it's, it's like almost like none other because it's like, I mean, I'm like, where the hell is this stuff coming from? Like, did I, did I raise my hands in the air and ask the universal energy like I'm trying to make a spirit bomb or some shit? Or did I, did it, I don't know what happened. You you almost feel like you did took like a pre-workout almost a little bit, a little bit, but day for day. Like, when you wake up, you have more energy. You want to, you really want to get up, get up. Like, you really want to go carpe diem, seize the day type stuff. So I'm like, man, I, I was enjoying that. I ain't going to lie to you. I had boo in it. And in turn, it. Boosted my pro my productivity, man. It boosted my productivity a whole lot, man, for real. I'm looking like I'm getting a whole lot of things done. I actually felt like doing things. So the little bit of procrastination that I did have at first, that was like dwindling away. I was I, I didn't really notice that, but like it was really, really like dwindling away. So at that point in time, I was like, man, maybe this is a good thing. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, damn, I want to smash. Because me, it was hard. I can't really say I would have smashed abroad and I can't bust, bro. Like I, I, That's one thing I couldn't do, bro. That's, I could not do that, bro. So I had to really abstain from sex. As as opposed to doing the semen retention, I couldn't do the semen retention while I was still sexually active. I was I, I'm not that type of guy. I have a master did like that. But anyway, that the energy aspect is is unparalleled, guys. I'm telling you, you will have buku energy, and it's like, damn, you're gonna be like, what what what, what the hell am I gonna do with all this? Like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get. It's almost like you got like a tick now. It's almost like you got a go to rehab and have like withdrawal symptoms, but it's almost in a good way. Cause once you get over that big, big hump, it, it might be longer. It might take two weeks for some guys. For me, it was a week. So I was like, I was thinking like, man, I, what, what am I going to do? And I started getting things done. Like it was really, really great experience in that point in time. But thing is like, sometimes it can't be sustainable only because the type of lifestyle you live. And you know, especially around that time when I was drinking and I was partying a lot, I know I wasn't going to be able to do it for a long time at that point in time, so I already, I already knew that eventually I'll end up getting off the wagon, but for that little bit of time, I was going crazy off that energy. It's almost like you drinking coffee and getting the cake without having to do it. Like that's what it, that's what it felt like for me. It felt like that for me. I was talking about jumping. You ever seen Alvin and the Chipmunks, and when they drunk them damn frat paves and they were bouncing all over the damn studio? That's what I felt like. That's what the hell I felt like. Like a damn kid, candy store had a whole bunch of candy and he jump around up at 12, 12 to 1 and 2 o'clock at night and they won't take their ass to bed and they don't want to get their ass up for school. That's what I felt like. That's what I felt like, like a damn night home. But anyway, the second aspect was the attention from women. It was, it was, it was different. And then at the same time, you notice more. You know, I don't know if it, I don't know if that's like something else for somebody else, but I noticed a lot more like. I like I noticed like I noticed how they was watching me a lot more. It's almost like you know how you walk through a, a hallway of paintings of like portraits of people's faces and you can see like the eyes following you. It's almost you start noticing stuff like that. Like you you start noticing the smallest details. You know we look at pictures a lot, but you start noticing it, it almost look like the eyes are moving like in a Harry Potter movie. Almost something like that. I'm not saying that I know. I ain't saying that like I done took some shrooms on some psychedelic shit, guys. Let's get back. Let's get back ready. I'm not saying like I'm on some shrooms. Oh, this man, hi, man. He, he wasn't no, no. He took shrooms. Shut the fuck up. 
can't take no damn shrooms, man. I holding this shit in. Man. That's the shroom I took. I, I holding this in. You feel me? But anyway, man, it felt like every like because remember I worked in the hospital, so I had a whole bunch of encounters with all the women, and I noticed like it's almost like they had like a they looked at me like I had some type of glow. You feel me? It was something that didn't really ever look at me. They would look at me and they would smile like like and and. It, it's not like the, it wasn't the regular way. I couldn't really explain it. It's almost like they saw something in me. You know how they see their friends or something, and they be like, "Girl, you glowing or something." Like, it was something like that. But at the same time, it's almost like you haven't done anything that you feel like you've done to glow. It's like, okay, I ain't get a fresh cut. I ain't get no drip. I ain't get no facial. I ain't get. I ain't do. You, you ain't do nothing that extra to really make yourself look like you're glowing. But people are looking at you as if you have achieved that. You see what I'm saying? They're looking at you like you've got a, a tune-up, like you got a makeover or something. It was like, people was greeting me like nicely, like, like I don't know, there's a lot of sensual tension going on, but there's a lot of like different attention. Like, I couldn't really, like I say, that I couldn't explain this. I really could not explain it. But it was almost like, bro, like, it was more like a lot of more welcoming energy, a lot of more conversations that wanted to be had. It's almost like, I don't know if it was the way I was walking. I don't know if it was my aura. I don't know what it was. But like I say, it was like the attention from the women was just like so much different. Just so many smiles, just like very stares and smiles. Like, okay, almost like they're attracted. It almost like it don't mean you're attracted to you. It's more of the energy that you're, that you're exhibiting. You know what I mean? It's like it's flowing outside of you. So I, I couldn't really explain that, but it's a whole bunch more encounters, conversations that started off like that. Like they would feel like, oh, you 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 looking like a new man today, like like a new man, like oh, you know what I mean? It's like I like I've had a epiphany or something. I ain't changed. I'm the same dude from the last week, two years I've been here. I, I I'm the same dude. I ain't nothing changed about me. Ain't a damn thing changed about me. But anyway. It was like that. So they made, made it seem like I'm graduating or something. Damn, I'm still in the first grade. But anyway, that's how it was, man. It was different with, with women, bro. Like, it just felt like that. But then I had buku energy. Those are the main two things I got out of it. Especially, like, around a two-week mark. Like I told you guys, it was a four-week thing for me. So out of a two-week mark, it was it was up soaring. But at the three to fourth week, man, that shit was at, like, peak. You see what I'm saying? It was like, I was like, it's almost like I was attracting energy. I was attracting people through energy. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it felt. It, I, I really can't explain that, guys. I really cannot explain that. But if, if anybody understand what I'm saying, if anybody has experienced this and have done semen retention, maybe you can go in the comment section and you can probably explain that type of phenomenon I had. But I can't really explain. I can't really put it into words. I can really like feel. I can't really paint that picture vividly for you guys like I do the rest of my story. That's about the best way I can say that. But anyway, it's your boy Noto coming to another video, coming to even more content, man. And if you made it this far, go on and click that like button, go on and comment, go on and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop a video, man. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves, they're willing to work at it. I'm out.